wonderful parents God given us. So much of love and so proud of them. And they given us beautiful life, my childhood, and comfortable and a curious life so we had it. And, and mostly, you know, uh, I could find God because of their love. And my God used to talk to me, you know, to show me my dad's love all the time. And he used to talk to me and say, you know, um, you know the way your dad loves you more than that I love. So I could find Heavenly Father's love through my dad. My dad is the perfect, you know, the representative, like who represented Heavenly Father very well. And I don't know, like um, my mom, I miss her so much, my mom. I call mommy, <laughs> mommy, yeah. mommy and daddy. I miss her so much. I don't know, this um, is so painful. Um, every time when I go, almost I think uh, these, uh, for the last five years, I've been going there um, almost uh, once in a year, been visiting. Um, when I was leaving, all the time that one fear was there every time inside of my heart that is this the last visit or uh, am I going to see her again and with heavy heart I used to leave her every year and she also had that fear in her heart she never expressed I never expressed we never <laughs> talked to each other that fear but she used to cry a lot and I used to cry to leave her. So last time when we went to Jerusalem, that was the last visit. And one thing I want to, you know, share about my mom is, for me, she's a, a very righteous woman. She's righteous. I could say I never found any pretense in her, like a See, that's a really good testimony she had because I never found inside one thing, outside one thing. She's the same person and um, she never talked about anybody bad. I never seen her. All those years I lived with her, I never seen her talking about anybody bad. Like she never had enemies, no enemies. I never seen any family enemies to us. Everybody loves our family so much. Everybody loves my mommy so much. And she's very righteous woman in that way. She, I never seen her any gossiped about anybody, any no jealous, no I've never seen such things in her. Very righteous woman. And hospitality, my God, amazing hospitality. And we are strangers. She feeds and she takes care of them like a own people, like own. They feel very comfortable. And anybody guests come to a house, they don't leave. <laughs> so days they stay with us. And from childhood, I saw. Um, Always, we never lived only our family. Always someone in our house. They live someone with us. Like that, she needs to give uh, accommodation to people and, and hospitality feeds them. And if anybody comes to my home, she never leaves them without feeding them. <laughs> and, uh, and very good cook. Very good cook. <laughs> And very, very loving person, very gentle, very sweet. And uh, her talk, her speech, uh, she was never be loud, very gentle, very soft spoken. And we never had enemies, first of all, you know. She's a peacemaker. 
I noticed that she peacemaker like a, she never like any quarrels fights anything and she was very very loving even to her in-laws I used to see my in-laws who likes my mom so much like my dad's sisters and all they were very loving to them they used to come to my home often and live in, in stay in our house for days and uh, took care of them I tell you my dad's um, my sister she studied medicine staying in our home only. she she used to treat my mom like a mother to her they such a loving person actually I was so attached to my dad pampered by him a lot but uh, but losing my mom is so painful I don't know so painful <laughs> and uh, such a royalish event in this COVID time and the way the things uh, done to her funeral service it was such a grand grand way they went and last day like you know uh, uh, sister Leah went and uh, prayed after she prayed after 2-3 hours she passed away she went and prayed and uh, she called me she showed me in the video and I saw her and she recognized me and she cried and I couldn't see her she took away camera and she recognized me she wanted to say something she could not say um, then uh, after that Pastor Mohan Babu called her and he prayed with her over the phone in the video after he prayed <coughs> and Sister Leah left after two three hours she passed away. so prayerfully she left so mm -hmm. prayerfully mm -hmm. and and covid also like but this lockdown also they free just they relaxed so people could go and uh, i think uh, they allowed 20 25 people but uh, in the cemetery and all 30 40 people were there uh, and the, the place where they arranged uh, funeral, it was really very nice, spacious place. They could put that uh, cup in the box and uh, people still maintain social distance. They sat like a, that much big space, very spacious. And, uh, and they worshipped whole night, uh, three worship teams came from three churches and Zion Fellowship and CSI and another uh, prayer power church. My brother goes to one church, two, uh, two brothers go to different two churches, but my mom and dad used to go to Zion Fellowship. So three pastors, three worship teams. So they took turns and whole night they did worship. Uh, and three pastors preached. Actually, what happened is uh, five, uh, seven years back, she was become very sick. I, I think that I, you all know that time I shared, and I asked God. That time only people thought uh, she might pass away, but um, I asked God for uh, five years of extension of her life. Uh, God gave, God answered the prayer, and for more than five years, seven years she lived. So after that, like uh, what happened? After five years passed away, I started getting fear because five years over. But I got an excuse. I asked God for Daniel wedding. Keep her for Daniel. Wedding. So God kept her. Amen. And then I told you know Daniel and Samantha will go and visit, and they did. And then I have to find some other excuse now. So I told God. Keep her for David's wedding. And I prayed. And last week, I felt as not doing right prayer. In my spirit, I felt. I was doing selfish prayers. Because I was not uh, thinking about my mommy's happiness. Because she was not happy. She was not happy. She
she missing my dad so much my dad and my mommy were very very close living a lonely life was not easy for her especially in the covid situation no one could visit her and my brothers were not coming that often to visit her and a uh, very lonely always uh, but my people they used to come and sat with her chat with her but miss covid situation nobody could go relate his family members nobody was visiting she was feeling very very lonely so she always used to cry to me that you know i want to go i want to go i was asking god like that she used to tell me but i always used to encourage no you have to stay you have to stay for david's wedding like that. but last week i felt i was doing um, selfish prayers i felt in bottom of my heart i felt that i don't think this is the right prayer i was doing then i it was hard but i felt uh, okay lord i'm just releasing now whatever you will let it happen i said just one week back and then i knew in my heart is now god is going to take her as you know several of my cousins also saw in dreams my mommy daddy together in dreams looking so young and beautiful happy <laughs> i also saw a dream but i i just ignored it you know so after one week only my mom got up from the bed became very weak very weak and very thin and not able to stand and walk uh, actually they were giving calcium injections every alternate day to get strength painful in her all bones and all pain paining to her i think so she got up in the night to go to bathroom so she felt she maybe because of weakness she slipped and fell um in the bedroom itself then a uh, servant maid was there and she was sleeping in another room this a midnight it this happened in night two o'clock then. and she heard the sound and came to my mom you know like her. and then she could not uh, lift her up because whole weight right okay. she was not making any effort to get up so she had no strength i think whole body was pain and she could not lift her up and uh, then uh, curfew my night curfew in india my brothers could not go my brother could not go in the night <clears throat> so they told her try again try again to lift her up again and she tried she could not and what she did is so anyway like she is only on the floor no they she put the, the mat there put a pillow there and she made her to just sleep there on the mat early morning my brother went and lifted her up and you know, put her on the chair and, but her uh, whole body was so i think so painful and and that's it after one day on the she passed it after that and not um, i think she could not express not communicating and whole body was paining i think that's hmm thank you yeah that <laughs> uh, so everything went well funeral all went well so we'll see them again you know my mm-hmm. brother is telling don't worry don't worry papa you know mm-hmm. if they call me papa don't worry rapture is coming anyway jesus is coming we are all going to meet them mm-hmm. yeah yes uh, sister lia was saying that you know the way how things happened she was saying god really honored her god honored her <clears throat> we could see that we could see god honoring her her um, 
the her life very righteous life she did righteous woman of god <laughs> even though you know they did not do much ministry here but they were very proud of us very proud of us we doing ministry they they feel, they felt very proud about us this to tell talk to everybody about us you know they are doing ministry like about us <laughs> but you know i know they reap everything uh, they raised us up in a such a way today all my brothers everybody serving the lord my two brothers they are in god only all grandchildren are in god all grandchildren born again saved and my both brothers and even sister in law also got saved and sister in law also love the lord and god really bless them god bless them so 